In this video today, I will show you how you can create this continuous push effect in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, especially if you have multiple clips and videos and images here in your timeline. What do I mean? There is this amazing technique that you zoom in while changing the images. It will look like this. You have this, you still zoom in, you still zoom in. It just continues, continues over all of your shots. It's a very powerful technique that they use in Hollywood a lot. So how would you do this? And in this video, I want to show you a very fast way how you can create this and this is the correct way to do this that most editors don't know. Classically, you would come in here into this clip and then open the inspector and we would work with keyframes. So I would say here on this first position, place my playhead here on the first position. And then I would say, okay, for that image, I wanna start here with the first keyframe. Then I will bring in my playhead to the second position and increase the zoom value. So now it's something like this. So I continue to push in. And to make sure that the next clip is exactly in the same position, I have to look at what was my zoom value, copy that zoom value, click the second clip, and make sure that I continue on that position. And then create a keyframe for that position. And so on and so on. And then also make another keyframe here on the second position where we zoom in even more. And the problem with this method is, number one, you have to make sure that your cutting points is correct. And number two, you also have to make sure that you kind of like have the same movement because now I changed the values. So let's, for example, here on the second clip from that one to the end position is maybe not the same speed like from that position to the next position. So you also have to keep in mind what values you type in. And then let's say we have done this through all of our clips, right? What if you want to change something? Now you have to come back in. The first clip, change it. The second clip, change it. Third clip, change it. And then let's say you want to change it again. Oh my God. No, you would never do it like this. So let's reset that. If you work with keyframes, you can always click here on the top. And then let's reset this one too. Let's also reset this one here so that all three are reset. They are full size. So how would you do this? First of all, you bring in all your clips and videos and images. Then for example, I select all of them and now I bring them to the first position where I want to zoom in. Let's say for example, I want to start here and the continuous push should look like this and bring everything in like this, right? So I start here. Now all of the images are on that position. Perfect. And what we do now is here under effects, we add an adjustment clip. By the way, what I show you in this video today works in the edit page and works also in the cut page. You have the adjustment clip here in the cut page as well. I just prefer to work in the edit page because I also have a keyboard and I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts and you can do a little bit more in the edit page, but it works in both pages. So I bring in the adjustment clip here on top. Make sure that the adjustment clip is over all of your clips where you want to have the continuous push. And now we simply select the adjustment clip, bring this to the first position here. And now let's open the inspector. And we kind of like do the same, but only one time. We start on the zoom value here with the first keyframe. And now let's bring the playhead here to the last position. And let's say on the last position, we want to zoom in until let's say 1.48. So let's see how this looks. A little bit too less. Let's bring this even more. Let's say until two, because the last part is a longer video clip. So now we zoom in, we continue, we continue, and you can have as many clips. And the funny thing is you don't even have to edit the effect anymore. You can even swap around the clips that you have in here. You can add multiple clips and it will always affect everything that is underneath. And this is the proper way how you use the continuous push effect with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. By the way, Blackmagic also created this DaVinci Resolve speed editor. That's a speed editor that will make you a faster video editor. It's designed so that you can use it in the iPad version, and also on the desktop version, and it's primarily for the cut page. I created a masterclass that is now out now. You can get this one here, and I teach you all the things to be faster with the speed editor and bonus. Everyone who gets the DaVinci Resolve iPad Masterclass, because I also have a masterclass just for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, they will get the Speed Editor Masterclass for free as a free bonus. Everyone who's already a student 
they have this already in their dashboard. If you buy the masterclass, you will also get the speed editor masterclass for free. So definitely check out the links here in the description and in the first comment. And if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, then you are on the right position here. This is the channel all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I'm Daniel. And if you found this helpful, and this will make you a faster video editor, I promise. This technique is so amazing. It's so simple. Start using it. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-le-bam-bang-gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.